I think a lot of people don't realize how many children we actually have. We are saying goodbye to Grandma's old couch today. He just gunned it. He's like, vroom, and the truck's just like, whoosh. <laughs> you look so cute. everybody so we are headed into Dubuque. Me, Matt, Skylar our oldest, Aspen our littlest and look at them. Aren't they cute? <laughs> so if you're new to the channel I just kind of wanted to point out because I actually had somebody ask us last night how many kids we actually have. I think a lot of people don't realize how many children we actually have. Matt and I have seven children um, but you guys don't see them all the time. Our oldest works a lot. And then our second oldest, she's in college, so she's not even living in home, right. at home with us. So there are two of our kids that you don't see very often. And then T comes on the vlog when she feels like it. Braxton, he comes on the vlog when he feels like it. So you a lot of times see our very youngest ones, Zane, Ireland, and Aspen. But we actually have seven kids. So we were talking about it today and Matt's like, really? People don't realize how many kids we have? And I'm like, no, but that's because they're not the on holidays. There. Oh yes, you will see them all at the holidays. So it's exciting when we all get to get together because we don't, well, we have six living at home, but one that doesn't live at home. So we don't always get to be together. And especially now that she's in college, she's super busy. She's doing, you know, it's her freshman year in college. She's doing the college thing, hanging out with the girlfriends just doing her thing so just kind of wanted to put that out there if you don't know how many kids we have we are a family of nine we have seven children but we are headed into Dubuque Skylar is with us because he's gonna help move his grandma's couch today so the couch I've inherited thanks to T. I don't know if it's coming home today or it's gonna sit at grandma's work we don't know anything. We just know we're going to move it. So that is what we're off we're to do today. We're supposed to take the van because I can take all the seats out and we can just put it inside the van and back to the weather. Except for the fact that for some reason all the seats come out of the van except one. And it's one right in the middle. Oh shoot. <laughs> you know all right guys we are saying goodbye to grandma's old couch today and we made a decision as a family to actually donate it to the mission so sky's getting ready to bring out cushions i think maybe maybe not Poop. did you wake up are you eating a cookie cold it's cold out there isn't it He's hiding from me. See, you guys? This is what I was talking about. This is why not all of our kids are on the vlog all the time. They hide from me. <laughs> I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah. Turn on the car and get the heat going, please. It's freezing. <laughs> Show me your new coat, though. You look nice. Look at his new coat, you guys. He looks super <laughs> sharp in it. Hi! I'm not <laughs> sure what just, what just happened. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on right now, but some guy just drove away in a U-Haul. We were at my father-in-law's. Oh, we were at my father-in-law's work. Hold on, Pooty, hold on. Oh, I tell you. Alright guys, so check this out. Some guy just pulled out in a U-Haul and took out the side of this U-Haul truck. Well, it's a good thing he took the intern. It's a good thing he took the intern. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? So he like pulled out and he must have been up against the truck and instead of like repositioning, he just gunned it. He's like, vroom! And the truck's just like, whoosh! Alright guys, so I was actually pulling out the camera Oh, to tell man. you that we're getting our first snow today. It's really light, no, but we are getting our first snow and all of a sudden some guy just like pulls out and hits the U-Haul truck. And these guys so, up there doing work came running down. <laughs> what 
happened to you? I was trying to put the uh, hitch in the grandpa's truck, and all of a sudden, all I heard is <laughs> some dude that hit this truck. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. These are so cute. So we went to the bank, and they gave Aspen a couple of stickers. And this one, you put the little faces and hats and eyes and the little mouth on it. That is so cute. We have his body to put on. That is his body. The other sticker's his body. You leave him on there, and then you put, yeah, there you go. You put the stuff on it. A lot right. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Mean face. I don't think he has a mean face. Frosty's not supposed to be mean. He's supposed to smile. Hey, how does he have arms? You gotta put his arms on. Uh, where does it go? Wherever you want to put him. He's your snowman. Now where you want to put him? Look at where to put him. Put him right here. I'm vlogging here, sir. The road's bumpy. I can't hold the camera up right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be a real zombie with um, my arm, and I want um um walk zombie. You gonna be a zombie with an arm? A real zombie? Yeah, Ooh. I want to move in. Oh, you're like, gonna be creepy. Then I can eat your camera. Oh, you're gonna be creepy, aren't you? So I'm pretty excited, guys. He's mad because I won't let him out of his car seat, aren't you? Are you mad? You're gonna let me out of my car seat. I will let you out when we're done driving. Anyway, I am so excited, you guys, because we are going Halloween shopping. I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays. I don't know if I'm gonna dress up this year because it's supposed to be super cold and I really wanna take the kids trick-or-treating, so I think I'm just gonna bundle up and take them. But we are always, always last minute Halloween shoppers. It does not matter. Sometimes we go the day of Halloween and go shopping. We've always been last minute shoppers. I think maybe when Matt and I were in our mid twenties, we put, we put a lot of time and spend a couple of weeks putting our costumes together. But since we've had kids, we've always been last minute shoppers. Ooh, I think they brought me a treat. You brought me my favorite. You guys, this one is almost gone. Oh, what else? And you brought me taffy. Look at that. What a good son. I think it was a good son and a good hubby. <laughs> you see that face, he's like, it was me. Did your big brother give you a hat just like his? No, I wanted this one and I, he wanted this one. Yeah? And he gave me this one. Now it's mine. You are so cute. Mom, you wanna wear this one a minute? No, you can wear it. Are headed back into Dubuque. We've already traveled all the way back home, heading back into Dubuque because, like I said, we have to do our Halloween shopping and we were gonna just go to Prairie du Chien, which is a little bit closer to Can our I house. actually needs her tail light changed and she has to take a trip to close to Rochester tomorrow I think Rochester Minnesota so she needs Matt to change her tail light for her so we're heading all the way back to Dubuque to do our Halloween shopping so we can change my mom's tail light So I call her and she's like, oh, wait, your dad's gone. He has the car. So instead of going to Prairie Machine, which is closer, it would have been a quicker night. Mama! What? If I'm a baby, can I go to Zombie Burger? You want to go to Zombie Burger? Yeah. We'll take you to Zombie Burger one of these times. Yeah, he's still upset with us because he didn't get to go to Zombie Yay! Burger. Yay! You letting me go to Zombie Burger? Sometime. Sometime. Not today, we're not going today. Not right now, not, not yet. No, not yet. Okay, you guys, so 
I just have a question. Any of you that have little bitty kids, he has been in the car with us all afternoon. So we've been traveling for about, between all the errands we had to run and running back and forth, we've been traveling for about four hours now. So he's only been in the car. He's a disaster. He has stuff in his fingernails, stuff all over his face like he was eating dirt. Banana stuck to his clothes, and you even changed his clothes when we got home. Matt changed his clothes, and his new clothes are filthy. I don't know where this happens from. It's like every time you get him out of this car seat, you just gotta like take it out and shake it. They like need disposable liners on car seats. They need like a vacuum button. Or you just, just hit the button and suck everything out, and then like this, I don't know, dry cleaning system. It doesn't matter. It can, you could not give him anything to munch on in the car. And he'd still and be And he'll dirty. still have stuff in it. That's gonna be cute. That's gonna be cute? Watch this. Let's go find costumes, Aspen. <laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> 